Hey there, it's Bread of Booster Therapy back with another giveaway for the month of September 2020. This month we're going to be giving away a Tulane Brawl deck to one lucky subscriber. All you have to do, same as the previous months, is like and comment on each of our videos and come October we'll be picking one of those comments from a subscriber and giving them the Tulane deck. Thanks again for all of your love, all of the support, and enjoy today's video. Welcome back to Booster Therapy, your cure for that pack crack and addiction. We have more double masters as we wait for other things to happen, like, you know, Zendikar Rising and Commander Legends and all the other amazing products that Wizards keeps pumping out for us. You guys excited for Expeditions? They're back. They're back, and it's going to be fun. We don't need the knife. Let's start cracking packs. And knocking things off tables. Double the rares, twice as nice. Double masters. I think I've been opening too many products with the rare in front. This confused me for a second. Time sieve. And the Geist of Saint Traft. We get a mythic right out the gates. Good old Geist. Ooh, foil a braid is very nice. And a foil unlicensed disintegration. I'm not even sure what I'm hoping for besides that damn mana crypt. Where is that damn mana crypt? Been hunting forever and not finding it. It's frustrating. Hopefully today's the day. Well of ideas. And the Re Reese the Redeemed. Man, you guys remember when he was like 35 bucks or so? Now he's all the way down to, what, three, four dollars? Something like that. Tuck, tuck. So far, one mythic. Also still hoping for that mythical 10 mythic box. The best we've done is nine. I'd love to see a 10. Sarah Sphinx. Ravenous Trap, upshifted. One of the very, very few. Maybe this is the, is this the only upshift? I think so, maybe. And Master of Ethereum. I guess unless you count, I guess there's one other one from Onslaught, but that would have been a Mythic if that card was printed when Mythic was an actual thing. Let's put that right into Tarmogoyf's mouth. Can't mana... Wow, why can't I think of the name? Mana something. I keep wanting to say Mana Severance, and that is wrong. It's not the name. Dismantle. Wooded Bastion. Not bad. Love the filters. Avenger of Zendikar. We get our second Mythic. Love the Avenger. Very useful card. Tumble Magnet and the Bloodshot Trainee. You remember that guy, Pat? Do you remember? I remember him. He's a, he's a good boy in this, in drafting this. There's a lot of ways to get that guy to four power. Metamorphos. Solid Uncommon. Kaldotha Flame Fiend, the Cogwork Assembler, Death's Shadow at an all time low right now in price, Hannah Ships Navigator, the new artwork, not bad. Oh, Might of the Masses, but the real one right there. Foil Basalt Monolith. That. Those are the foils you just want to keep hitting. You always want those solid commons and uncommons in foil. Because they're initially going to be super, right now, all-time low price. But it will just climb right back up. Pongify is useful. Pented Prism. There we got Open the Vaults. And the Tempered Steel for your artifact decks. And then a Frogify and a Glaze Fiend. Hopefully we can see a foil mythic in this box. Would love to see another foil force of will. That was fun to open. If you haven't seen that video, go back and find it. 
It was recent. Ooh, Blood Moon. Love the Blood Moon. This, the Blood Moon box topper might be my favorite too. And the Thrag Tusk. I am making a deck that I hope to share with you all soon that's going to show the power of Thrag Tusk. Ooh, there's Battle Rattle. Part of the combo. Oh, and a foil chromatic star. That's a nice, nice foil and nice looking foil. Oh, we're due. We're due for a double mythic pack. This is one of those mythic mythic packs. It's gonna happen. Disciple of the Vault. Got crop rotations pretty solid. Path to Exile. All three myth are all three uncommons. Very good. Let's peek. That's not a, it's Twilight Meyer. It's not a mythic. One of the better filters, though. And Sculpting Steel, another rock solid rare. Goblin Gavalier and more Crut Banshee. Let's get a Sword of Feast and Famine. Sword of Feast and Famine. Let's see it. Not trying to be too greedy with that, although that greed is consuming. Shell? Oh, Imperial Recruiter. Love this one. Haven't seen enough of him in the openings. Another great mythic reprint. And Joyra. Well, it was a mythic. Downshifted to rare. And a foil rugged prairie. Nice. A foil filter. Again, usually you get two you get two foil rares in these boxes. At least I've always had two or more. So hopefully that stays and we can find another good foil rare. The one time I had three foil rares was the one where I had also a foil mythic, so. Here's an all-day dollar. Fatal push. Springleaf drum. Used to be really good. You know what I didn't realize? That's Seb McKinnon. That's some Seb art right there. Mir Smith. Fulminator Mage. Solid rare. And Grim Lava Mancer. Another good rare. Ooh. Sylvan Might and Sphinx of the Guild Pack. What is going to be in that box topper? Cover up the eyes of the Tarmogoyf. Kinder, not a bad card. Is it a mythic? It is. Vulcan Baga. Baga? Mox Opal. It's a spicy meatball. One of the better mythics to open. Can we do a back-to-back -back mythic with this one? That would be great. No, it's not. Mox Opal and Council's Judgment. Council's Judgment, very good card. Parasitic Strix and a Valorous Stance for the foils. These boxes actually were brought to you by Rudy of Alpha Investments. Came right from the Rudy source. Reclamation Sage with the new art. And you got Thought Reflection. Another rare. Basilisk Collar. Another really good rare. Love Basilisk Collar for your commander decks where it's a pinging commander. Just makes it that much more deadly. And a foil is this tower. Not bad. So thank you, Rudy, for the box. Hopefully we get even more mega hits. Tower, cranial plating, Magus of the Abyss. There's good old creepy Rudy right there. Look at that guy. And Duplicant. Not a super valuable card, but boy, is Duplicant really good. Oh, I see another foil rare. We got a foil rare behind the bone picker. The Voice of Resurgence. Wow, that looks great. That is a beautiful foil rare. Two solid foil rares with this one. I've had a few of them, like a few of the boxes have been great boxes, but the foil rares have been really lackluster, like some of the worst to get. Those were two just rock solid, happy to have foil rares. Ooh, Mishra's Bobble. Take the Bobble. Wrong pile. Enlarge. Rage Reflection. We get another one of the Reflections. 
And up. Uh, oh, Scytherix. The Blight Dragon. We get our fifth mythic on our way to 10. And it's another powerful mythic. Orcish Vandal and the Gleaming Barrier. Really, though? Mana Crypt. Come on. <laughs> Let's see that Mana Crypt. Open so many of these boxes between Pat and myself, and we have not seen a Mana Crypt yet. Buried Rune, another Valorous Stance, Pure Steel Paladin, this is a solid one, very good night for your equipment decks, and Champion of Lamholt, another one I play a lot, very affordable card, but it, it is good. Almost through the middle pile and onto the final stack all the way to the left. Sword of the Meek. And another rare. We get the Sundering Titan. I hate that we can't play that one in Commander. Unband the Titan. Not that broken. Plus eight mana. Another Urza. Another one of those Tron lands. A Glass Dust Hulk. Ooh, Vexing Shusher. Love this boy. Rude little goblin. And, ooh, the Stoneforge Mystic. The best rare, if I'm not mistaken, in this set right here. Non-mythic rare, that is the top spot. Nice to see. All right. I think this is the final six, right? Or seven? Should be eight? I don't know. He's never very good at math. Thopter Engineer is useful. Is it Charm? Useful. Dread Return? Also useful. Dark Steel Forge. We get our sixth. Yep, sixth mythic. Is there a mythic behind the Dark Steel Forge? Nope. Solid Dark Steel, though. And then the Ion Storm. The Corridor and the Sickle Slicer. Come on, big hits. Big hits in this pack. Can we get lucky? Fetid Heath, getting a lot of filters. I feel like I've only been seeing like two in a box lately. And, ooh, Maze of Ith. Love this reprint, very needed. Alabaster Mage and the Dire Fleet Hoarder. Getting down there, and then it's box topper time. Trash for treasure. Sun Forger. Come on, mythic. Mana Crypt. Mana Crypt. Is it a mythic? It's a rare. Academy Ruins. At least it's a good rare. Solid legendary land. Oubliette, another one of the very good uncommons in this set. Cogwork Assembler, Get a rare, Sunken Ruins. I believe this is the best of the filters. And Falconrath Aristocrat. Vampire Hex Mage. Oh boy, three packs left. That means six more chances for a fabled mana crypt that supposedly exists in this product. If I don't get it, I write my complaints to Rudy. Gore Clan Rampager. We get the Ether Sworn, Ether Sworn Canonist. Come on, Mythic. Ah, Doom Necromancer. I do love the Doomed Necromancer, but it is not. It is not the one we are looking for. P 
Path to Exile, another one. Very solid hit. Blasphemous Act. I feel like I haven't opened enough of these either. Another very good board wipe. And the Noble Hierarch. Another very good rare. Well, we're hitting a lot of those solid rares, which is nice. Sanctum, Gargoyle, and the Flare Husk. Last pack, and then it's box stopper time. Come on, Mana Crypt. <laughs> Be in the clothes. Chief of the Foundry. So we're going to slow roll it like always, like we've been doing. So it's a rare. Kev Walker, 2-1. What is it? Phyrexian Revoker. Come on, be a mythic this time. A Chris Ron mythic. That means it's a sword. Feast and famine, please. War and peace. Well, we get a seventh mythic, right? One, two, three, yep. Seven, we get a war and peace sword. And we still have the box topper, but... It's still a box without a mana crypt. What is happening? I have gotten so many things on Twitter and on Instagram where it does exist, getting tagged in pictures. I am still convinced you are all fabricating this. Those videos are somehow professionally edited to mess with me. All right, for all of the goods, Council's Judgment. I do love how this card looks. Just horrifying. And do we get a mythic behind it? We do a Kev Walker mythic. Mommy, Another sword. We get meatball. sword of light and shadow. So it goes feast and famine, fire and ice, and then light and shadow is the next one behind it. It is beautiful. And an eighth mythic. Another eight mythic box. Let's just double check that a pack didn't sneak in here anywhere. Nope, it's that's it. There's no secret uh, mana crypt. Until next time, this is Booster Therapy. Bye.